Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be really exciting, okay? So Flower Beauty recently released a new product and when I saw this on the Trend Mood page, I was immediately sold. Like, saw it, went to the website, added it to my cart, checked out. Flower Beauty is, I feel like it's a brand that I never review on my channel. They just don't really have a lot of products that catch my attention but this this yes it is their new jet set invisible powder spray i've never seen anything like this so i immediately was drawn into it this is supposed to be for oily skin which hello that's me we're gonna try this today okay i'm excited i hope you're excited we're gonna get right into this tutorial because i just i've been waiting to try this with you guys so if you're not subscribed to my channel Make sure you do and yeah, let's go ahead and jump into today's video slash review. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do my full routine as far as like foundation with you guys because I want to show you the steps that I like to take. I'm not going to change anything. I'm not going to add anything. I'm just going to do my makeup as I usually do. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my e.l.f. Matte and Poreless Putty. This is the one that I like to use. When I know I'm going to go out and I want to make sure that one, my pores look nice and tight and two, I want my skin to look matte. I like to use just a little stippling brush to really push it into the pores. And then I'm going to take my Shine Stopper Instant Matte Finish Primer from Paula's Choice which looks like this and this one is really nice at just making your skin look super matte and I'm actually controlling the oil so this is the one I've been using for the past few weeks I'm sure you guys have seen it in some of my videos but I don't necessarily love it because or love it for the purpose of hiding my pores which is why I go in with the elf matte Primer because I want to hide my pores and then the Paula's Choice just ensures that my makeup actually stays matte. Okay, moving on. Face is primed. I am going to take a foundation that I've been using for, I don't know, maybe it's been close to a month and I love it. It's been so good to my skin. Oh, I am going to use a new foundation brush, but that shouldn't change anything. And if you guys I'm sorry, this is like distracting. I or oh, right here, where can you see it? This it's a reflector for my lights. But anyways, for the foundation, I am gonna use the Cover Effects Power Play Foundation. This one is in the shade number 60. And the foundation brush that I'm gonna use today is the one by Juvia's Place. This one is like really big now that I have it in my hands. Moving on to the concealer, I am going to use the Catrice True Skin High Cover Concealer. This claims to be waterproof and it contains hyaluronic acid. It is a new product and I actually really like it. I've been using it for maybe a little bit over a week and it's definitely full, full coverage. With this, I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender and blend it out. For my powder, I am going to set just underneath the eyes with the Haley's Retouch Soft Focus Setting Powder. This is the one that I've been using for the past couple of days and it is so good. I love the formula. It's so soft and your under eyes look so airbrushed. 
For the rest of the skin though, I am going to set with the powder that I've been using as well, which is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Mattifying Powder in the shade Medium. This is super lightweight and it doesn't really give you extra coverage. So if you're looking for something that's lightweight, mattifying, and doesn't just add color to the skin, but just really sets it, this one is really, really nice. For my bronzer, I'm kicking it old school and taking the MAC Give Me Sun. Not old school, but I guess I haven't used this in a while. And if you've been watching me, you know that I could not put this bronzer down like a few months ago. And I haven't really been playing with it just because I've had some other bronzers that I've been really gravitating towards. But this is just a cold favorite, you know? It's one that never lets me down. For the blush today, I am taking the Isn't It Peachy Blush Palette by Makeup Obsession. And I'm just going to take a mix of all the three matte shades. And for my highlighter today, I am using this one by KKW. It is called Champion. I don't plan on doing my eyeshadow today, so I'm just going to go off camera and do an eyeliner, I think, and then some mascara. We're going to come back and set the skin with this Flower Beauty Just Said Invisible Powder Spray, which is obviously the star of the show. So I'll be back in just one sec. All right, and I am back, face is done. If you're wondering what lashes I am wearing, I am wearing Drama Queen from the OMG Lashes line, and currently they are BOGO for a limited time. So head on over to shopomglashes.com. We only have a few left in stock, so hopefully you can snatch some up. These are very dramatic as the name um, says it is. And I love these because they just pair really nice with just a simple eyeliner. So make sure you check out my description box. I have a link to my website. But now we're gonna finish off the face by taking the star of the show. So really quickly, I'm just going to give you some quick info on the flower jet set invisible powder spray now on the back it says forget the mess this spray on setting powder helps control shine and absorb excess oil leaving skin with a soft matte finish and then it says how to use it so you shake me up and spray six to eight inches away from the face in a sweeping motion reapply as needed to refresh and mattify throughout the day this is what it looks like it's like an aluminum little can and it has an aerosol spray it almost looks like that powder deodorant that you would wear. So now let's go in and apply this. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. That's why I don't want to do my eyeshadow because if it messes up my skin. Okay. I feel like that just felt like air on my skin. That's weird. Hmm. Interesting. Like my skin is pretty matte. You guys see that? I am interested to see how this is going to wear throughout the day. My skin definitely does feel a little extra matte, but not too crazy. So it is currently 11.49 a.m. I plan on going out today. Nothing crazy. I'm just going to go over to my sister's house. I know we're going to eat. Take the girls to the pool things like that so yeah i'll be back and do the final check in i will be taking this with me because it does say that you can reapply it throughout the day to just refresh the skin so i'm excited to see how that's going to work if it really will make my skin matte without touching or powdering or anything so i will keep you updated and hopefully this works you guys because i think this is such a cool product but yeah, you know, for rambling. <laughs> I will see you guys in a few hours. Peace. Whoo, it's been a long day, you guys. It is currently 8.58. Lincoln is asleep. I got my workout in and I'm ready. I am ready to do my final check-in. I am wearing my glasses, but I'm going to take them off in just one second. Mm. Working out has been kicking my butt. Okay, so... <sighs> Y'all, it's been pouring today and it just so happened that the rain just doesn't like me and it just wants to get me wet. All right, so as you can see, let me get closer. As you can see, 
right here were oily, okay? And um, shout out to this Power Play Foundation because honestly, all in all, it's stayed on the skin. Where did it go? Anyways, this is after pretty much almost nine hours of wear. So let's see how well this does. So let's hit the forehead first. Okay, now let's hit this side. I'm gonna do just one side so you guys can see the difference. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, definitely don't do this if you have lashes on because look at how my lashes are super white. There's definitely powder in there. Like you can't feel anything on your skin. Wow. Look at this side. And then look at that side. Do you guys see a difference? No, that's crazy. Okay, let's try it on this side. You do have to hold your breath. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. What are the final results? What are my final thoughts? This stuff is amazing, you guys. It doesn't leave your skin with any splotches. It doesn't leave any white marks. It just mattifies the skin. And honestly, it feels super velvety. So this definitely gets a thumbs up and it's approved for oily skin i am really shook so i hope you guys enjoyed today's review and full day wear test trying out the new flower beauty jet set invisible powder spray if you're going to pay picking this up definitely let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are because i am just shook to the core about this thank you all for being here i love you and until next time i will see you in my next video bye